It is important to understand the basic mouse functions in Draftit. This may save you time. First, let's look at what we can do with the left mouse button. We can use it to pick commands, for example, the line command. To draw the line, simply single click each point. You don't have to hold the button down to do this, just click and release. So we can use the left mouse button to draw, we can also use it to select. Move the cursor over the entity you want to select and click. Easy enough. If you want to select more than one item, simply hold the keyboard control key. Now each time you click, the item clicked is added or removed to the current selection. The keyboard shift key works in the same way, except it always adds the selection, it never removes, whereas the control key toggles the selection. We can also select multiple items with the left mouse button by dragging a box around the entities we want to select. Click in a free space and hold down the mouse button. Here we will move the cursor to the right and the selection box has a solid line. If you move the cursor to the left, the selection box has a dotted line. This is significant. The solid box indicates that only items completely inside the box will be selected. Release the left mouse button to complete the selection. This time we will drag a box to the left for a dotted selection box. Here you will see that all items passing through the box are selected. You can use single clicks and box selections in combination with the control and shift keys. This gives you greater flexibility and allows you to easily select and manipulate geometry. The right hand mouse key has two main functions. Firstly, it clears the current selection. A left click in free space also does this. Secondly, the right mouse button can be used to cancel the current command and also to restart the last command. Finally, the middle wheel mouse button. This is used to zoom and pan. Roll the wheel forward to zoom in and then roll it back to zoom out. You will notice that the zoom in or out centers on the cursor, effectively panning at the same time. If you only want to pan, then just press and hold down the middle wheel button and move in the direction that you want to drag the drawing. Release the button to finish panning.